Welcome to Nothing But Dicta, the podcast where everyone has an opinion and you get to hear it. I'm Sahara Tassi. We're talking to Eric, Dan, and Emily about making friends in law school. Uh, I made my first friend in law school via email, believe it or not. I looked them up in the photo directory and I shot them an email to see if they wanted to study together because I spent too much time in the library to actually meet people. That is definitely an unusual route, but maybe it's helpful for one else this year because we are in this virtual world. So Dan and I made friends by sitting next to each other and I'm sure Dan has more friends. So Dan, how did you kind of go around making friends in law school? Oh no, now I have to admit on camera that you're my only friend. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> people kind of come into law school with the mindset of like i am a serious type a adult or, or like oh i have to be a different person than who i am now but i find just being authentically yourself or whatever is good and like you can also just everyone in your 1l class shares something in common that you can bond over with and that's being super stressed out <laughs> uh, so that's always an option too i made other friends just by like approaching people in the library typically people who I had class with because I, I, I didn't really know anyone else. Uh, I'm not sure how, how useful that is in the, in the virtual learning world. I also tried to just be very friendly and pleasant. And when people got called on, I would usually make an effort to say, hey, great job, good job. And that was a, a good way to kind of create opportunities to, to converse with my fellow students. I'll follow up with Emily. I've actually been emailing people when they do good cold calls in class in the virtual class, just because I think that's really, nice. yeah, because you know, I mean that uh, like telling that people is that so nice. a cold call was like a big part of one L. I thought that's how I met a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know anyone in my upper level classes really, so I, I shoot little emails when people do really well. I wish but, we had uh, classes together. I did want to supplement my answer with saying clubs are a great way to meet people. I met a lot of people by being a 1L rep for stuff because um, then you make announcement. We've got something going and then someone will come up and talk to you or you get to know people in other sections or um, upper level students as well. This may sound a little bit cliche, but I, I really think that only law students kind of understand the, um, the, the difficulties that come with being in law school. And it's important to be able to talk Talk to people about what you may be going through uh, in your in your studies, who you know are going through the same thing, and also it saves you from having to explain everything to a non-law student. Not that you shouldn't have friends outside of law school, but it's certainly nice to just kind of get right to the. This is this is what's bothering me. Otherwise, you're just like mystifying your significant other or parents about what an ORM is and like so on and so forth. Yeah, it's a Right. But I also think it, it, it's important that you do maintain those like outside of law school relationships. They're a little bit different. And I think you need to set boundaries in that context and let people know like, hey, like I might not be as available as I am historically. I think another important thing for me was to find friends that didn't stress me out. because Yeah, I'm I, that's a more. big thing. There also will be people who are so focused on the competitive aspects of law school that being around them can become very toxic and self-deprecating because it's so difficult to not see how someone what they're doing and they're very focused on making it seem like what they're doing is the absolute best thing that you can possibly be doing and it's hard to not shut down and be like oh my goodness i'm doing everything wrong i'm never going to to excel in law school so yeah i like a hundred percent agree with that there's you will i'll also put a disclaimer a lot of like the, the negative characteristics that i'm about to describe i had coming into 1l and i kind of had to retrain my brain to fix it because i realized that it's not productive but like you'll definitely get people who will come in and kind of say like I know everything. My my dad's a lawyer. My brother's a lawyer. I figured it all out, you know. And like they'll they'll seem very confident on the outside, and that can freak you out. But in reality, like uh, most of us don't know what we're doing. The moment you acknowledge that, you can kind of learn. And if if you're willing to learn and you're willing to help other people out, like they will have your back. I was not super stingy with like my outlines or my notes, and I always I always shared with people. And like multiple people had my back. It's bad to look at people as a means to an end, but being helpful will benefit you in the long run, I think. It's always been preached to me that the people in your class in law school, you know, in 20 years, you, you may very well cross paths with them again. 
and you don't want to be remembered as someone who, you know, ripped the pages out of their textbook. Not that people really do that now, but you would like to be remembered as someone who is helpful and kind and not just a cutthroat person that will do anything to get an A. Yeah, I think another thing about law school friends that I found particularly helpful is that you're exposed to different areas of law to discover. And I had friends who went into, you know, internships that I would have never thought about or are taking classes that I never would have considered. And then just having those friends with those interests, you learn about a whole nother field where you're like, wow, maybe I should do that. Or maybe I should at least learn about that. Also, it's good to make friends with people you disagree with on the law. I remember very vividly someone, a couple of people I had got into very heated discussions with people who were like super pro suing doctors in MedMal. Uh, and I am the opposite. And so we had some very interesting <laughs> discussions. I, and I also vividly remember uh, coming to class and turning around to Yusahar and being like, can you believe people think this? And you being like, no, I can't. I hate med mal lawyers. <laughs> Emily's about to be like, oh, that's my... So both of my parents are med mal lawyers. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, med mal lawyers are people too, you know. <laughs> and, and in law school, you'll learn that by talking yeah. to future med mal lawyers. <laughs> they're, they're principled. They believe what they believe. And it's not like they're... Well, one of them was really just talking about it for the money. But um, <laughs> a couple of them were like really passionate about, you know, protecting patients and, and ensuring good care and that sort of thing. So... You know, you do learn a lot from talking to people. Yeah, and talking with people, you miss less deadlines. You you yep. hear about jobs that are that are accepting applications. Uh, the biggest disadvantage to having classes online is you can't turn to the next to the person next to you and be like, "What is going on?" Something Dan was mentioning much earlier uh, when talking about non-law school friends is that you you go really in depth in this stuff and you just lose people. The nice yeah. thing about law school friends is they're right there with you and they t will like engage in this stuff and make really nerdy jokes uh, about the law. And like, you'll have debates about like judges writing styles and stuff. There's, it's like a very unique type of, ex of friend and, and it's very beneficial. And I highly recommend all of our listeners because that those experience, like those jokes, that's so much a part of law school are, are, is nerding out on the law. Um, and so go forth and conquer young listeners. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> friends, what are they? <laughs> Webster's Dictionary defines friends as... <laughs> yeah, like this kind of stuff is, is your normal friends, and, and it's probably a good thing. Your normal friends would be like, no, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what? The joys of the law taking over your life. There are so many. And there really are. Like I, I was sensing a little sarcasm in both of you, but the, I, I really enjoy law school. Uh, there's so much to enjoy about it. And sharing it with people like you guys. We've just had such a nice time talking for almost an hour. An absolute pleasure. Thank you to Emily Lewis, Dan Robinson, and Eric Levine for joining us today. And to our listeners, we hope you'll join us again soon for another episode of Nothing But Dicta.